Okay, let's jump back over here. Oh man. Um whew. Wow. We have we have fun. We have fun. I here. should be I should be uh the the product lead for for Death Stranding iOS. I should have been. I'll be like, no no guys, we don't have to do any work. What we're gonna do is when you click this, it's gonna auto install Uber Eats delivery. And you're just gonna immediately be prompted to go and become a delivery <laughs> driver for Uber Eats. <laughs> It's just that's all we have to code. It's going to be great. It's a free game. We're, and we're going to get Uber to help pay us because we're advertising them. Um, for um, for me, I just started playing Baldur's Gate again. I beat Act 2. Um, Act 2 has some surprisingly challenging boss fights at the end of the of the act. I um, Balthazar was a challenge for me. Mm -hmm. I will say it was a little bit challenging because... because the first thing his minions did is they kicked me off the edge. Oh, God. Which yeah. infuriates me. I ended up figuring it out, obviously. Basically, I just bum-rushed him and got him to stop casting his garbage spells. That was annoying. And then... Yeah, he was pretty He was pretty squishy. I, he was I squishy. Like, I mean, I was playing Monk, and Monk can be pretty OP, but like, I, I'm pretty sure I killed him on like the first turn of the combat. I just freaking bum rushed him down. Yeah, you kind of just dead. you just run him like, down. His minions yeah. don't really do too much, so you just kind of bum rush him. And then the final boss, Kethrick, of the act. So, Kethrick got me a few times because I think part of the reason why Kethrick got me was because I would I beat him. Like, the first time I beat him, I was like, okay, I think this is over. And then he turns into a giant mega boss, obviously. Yeah. And that's what got me, is all my party was next to this mega boss. And the first thing he did was swiped everybody down. Yeah. And I was like, okay, well, I didn't really know that was coming, so fuck me, I guess. Um, So I, I like, died, because my party just went down. He's like, oh, just... I'm a big mega boss. And I was like, oh, okay, middle of the map. Everyone's on the platform, because I don't know. Kills everybody. First turn, he's just like, Roop. and I'm like, okay, would have been nice. I guess you don't have to tell me that's going to happen, but would have been nice if my fight wasn't lost because of just a random second phase event that just immediately kills me. So that felt a little bit unjustified, because I was like, okay, Kethrick's down, like we're all good. First turn swipe. And before you say anything, no, my party didn't get to act before I got swiped. I just died. Mm -hmm. So it was... I will say that was very frustrating. I won't say that I didn't deserve it or anything, because I feel like... I guess maybe I should have assumed there would be another phase. Catherick, like, his first phase felt too easy, maybe? I don't know. Um, But then, eventually, I figured out, okay, if it's going to do that... I'm going to set myself up so when it comes out, it just can't swipe me turn one. I think when I did that fight, the Keth the first phase of the Kethrick fight, he, like, I want to say on, like, turn one, I, like, ran my tank up to him to tank him. I was using Karlak, and he double crit smited her and one shot her. Yeah, I was no, like, he, oh, that's fun. You don't 1v1 like, him. Yeah, I don't, you don't 1v1 him. I learned that, too. I'm like, oh, you 1v1 this guy, he'll fuck you up. He just fucked people up. I, I didn't even try to 1v1 him anymore after he fucked somebody up. So I just... I actually had... um, Oh, God. I'm just going to call her Angel Lady for now. Um, Because when I went to... Uh, I saved the Angel Lady. I'm just going to say I saved Angel Lady. Yeah, I can't remember her name right now. Either. It's like... It starts with like a D or something. Um, So Angel Lady actually will tank him, and he will only focus her. So yeah. I just let her go in. And then I dealt with the ads. I just dealt with everything else. I let her go in. Because every turn she just gets back up. So so Angel Lady did that. And then when we got to the final at phase, Angel Lady didn't get back up anymore. Probably because they're like, okay, if Angel Lady just keeps getting back up, this second phase isn't really a problem. The problem I have with second phase is it's basically a speed run. Every turn he spawns in ads. Basically, he's basically spawning in ads every turn. So if you don't, if if you try and 
fight him and the ads at the same time, he eventually just kills you over time. Yeah. Because he's too he's too strong, too many hit points. Yeah, you, you gotta focus the boss. You gotta focus the boss. So you basically just go, I just ended up landing on, oh, so you just gotta smork this guy. Yeah. So smork, you just, eventually smork. you just smork him. And, which I'm gonna say, for d and I'm not so sure I like that. I'm not so sure I really enjoyed just the second phase being, yeah, just keep hitting him. Don't do anything else. Just keep hitting him. I mean, like ignore the ads. For the, the first phase, I actually really liked that. That first phase, it was just like, okay, this feels like a regular D and D combat. But I kind of wish for a second phase. Maybe there's a little bit more to it than just, oh yeah, just hit him in the face. Maybe there's a little bit more. I mean, like, cause cause if you tried to kill the ads too, you can't. You physically can't kill the ads in time. There's too many. And they're all they always get spread out. There's no point. Well, and he like drain he like drains your life every turn. Or he something, he like, something like he that. gets more like, powerful with the ads, yes. He's constantly like if you're too far away from him, he's constantly pulling you towards him. So there's like no incentive to do any other tactic than just stand in front of him and punch him. Which yeah, I'm not sure I liked. And cast your most powerful spells on him. I'm not so sure I like that. I like the the epicness of the moment, but I think for a fight, I would have liked it to act more like, I guess, a mini puzzle. Where it's like, okay, he's in phase two. He's a big monster boss. He's got like an attack or so, but then every turn or two, he does something in the arena that you have to avoid. So you're like, you move your units around a little bit. You're trying to navigate this thing, or you like think of the Forge boss. The Forge boss is a great example of a good boss to me. The Forge boss is not a boss you smork. Okay? You go to the Forge boss. There's a boss in the Forge in Act One. He's in the Underdark. You go to him, you try and smork him, he kicks your ass because you can. So instead, the whole arena, you have to use the whole arena. You're moving your party. You move your party members to each different position of the arena. He targets one of your 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 people. You have to position him to the middle of the arena. When you do that, you coordinate your party members. You're basically... You turn on the lava, so he's weakened, and then you pull a lever, and it smashes him. But you have to do this, like, coordinated set of, of things... To get him to be in that position to be rewarded. That's a good boss fight in this game. Kether's second phase is not a good boss fight for me. It was very boring. I was just like, okay, just keep hitting him. Just keep hitting him. So I think they missed on this one. I am I was very underwhelmed um, with that fight. I will say it didn't, it didn't like take away from the enjoyment I had or anything. But I guess I just wanted to highlight that. I was disappointed in that fight. I thought there was a better optional boss fight in Act 1 that felt like a boss fight. This felt just more like, yeah, just hit him in the face. Yeah. That's not really a boss to me. That's more just hit him in the face. It's a sponge. So, I'm going to say that I'm not so sure I enjoyed the Act 2 bosses. The Act 2 bosses boil down to, yeah, just, just smork them. Balthazar, I think there was probably a bit more to it you could have done. Like, you could silence him, makes it easy. You could just run on up at on up at him as a monk and stunning strike him or something. That to me, like, that. there's a little bit more. I did that to a lot. I did that to a lot of bosses. Yeah, Time strike's pretty stupid. Yeah, it is. But but that's like your tactic. That's your tactic. And like, I think you could do different tactics with Balthazar. I think there was no other tactic in the second act boss fight with with um, <clears throat> Merkel, the big old bone guy, big monster. There's no other tactic to me. Just hit him in the face. What's the other tactic? I didn't really gauge the arena, but to me, it was just hit him. Which to, is... It, I don't know. There's something off about it. So, I guess I just wanted to say that. I also wanted to say that while there are a lot of good things with this game, that was definitely the lowest point I was in. I, I, I'm I surprised with my reaction to it. I was like, wow, this is insane. This isn't this boss fight in particular, isn't it? Um, I kind of wish it act, it worked more like the Act One boss I had, where there's a bit more 
party movement strat like tact your your tactic is more like okay if i position my party this way it's gonna you know i'll do this and this and then he's gonna go i'll like force him to the middle of the arena by using like sacred flame and then that's when i can do everything that that was like so engaging to me so anyway that's my experience with Baldur's yeah, Gate 3 this I mean, week and Act 2. I, I, I didn't have the same, like, negative reaction to that boss fight that you did. I thought it was, like, a cool set piece. It's but a cool I set agree. Ta tactically, it's not an interesting fight because you just want to kill him as fast as possible. So you just use all your most powerful abilities. You just hit him as hard as you freaking can, as fast as you can, and try and kill the boss. As a like, set piece, it was very good. I agree. Yeah. Good set piece. One of the better set pieces, for sure. But as a boss fight... Yeah, tactically, tactically not a not a very good boss fight. Tactically, I was like, I was so bored. I I was disappointed that I realized that the tactic was just hit him in the face. Yeah. I guess I was just tactic disappointed. Is, tactic is smirk. That when I discovered that as a tactic, I was like, oh, this this is kind of boring. Okay, I'm just gonna get through this. Because there are other boss like, well, I had experienced the forge boss, which I thought was really good. I was like, oh, this is a really good way to do a boss in D and D. Like well done, like I, we, not that we haven't had good experience like that when we played D and D, but like I was like, oh, like this is a good way to do that in this game. Like this boss clearly is not someone I should beat, but there's a way to beat it using clever, clever combat tactics. Yeah, Merkel. The 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 set it's set in when I was in the fight, and I was like, okay, he's he's probably just gonna beat me again. It said it. I was like, "Oh, I'm just supposed to keep punching this guy as hard as I can." <laughs> That's what you're telling me, game. Yep, I'm just supposed to get through his whatever 300 hit points or whatever he has as fast like, as I possible. Yeah, can. something like that. <clears throat> so, Baldur's Gate, I still love you. Act two boss fight, not my favorite at all. Definitely not one of I my mean, favorite bosses. I mean, I. We talked about it when I when I finished the game, whenever that was a few months ago, and uh, I really liked the game, um, but I would not give it a ten out of ten. It no. has enough. I really like the game, but it has enough like issues and like problems that I had with it that like, yeah, to me to me it's like a very solid nine, but like I would not give it a ten out of ten. It has it has some issues, and to me like. The story to me was like not incredible. There are some good, very good stories and incredible stories in it. Yes. But like the main plot is kind of, it's kind of whatever. The main, it's fine. yeah, like, the main, the main plot. Now that it's been kind of exposed to me, it's nothing special to write home about. But the inter, but the stories of all the characters and their interweaving. Yeah, the, some of the party members have have cool, like very cool stories. They, um, they work well, so I kind of just don't. I don't focus on the main story as much because I'm I'm more focused on figuring out like what's the connection with everybody else? Where's everybody's connections? So, so yeah. It's, I'll, it's I'll I mean yeah, act 2 was kind of the low point of the game for me like the BL I had more problems with the beginning of act 2. I kind of liked the end of act 2. I thought it was like a cool set it piece, is. you know, saving saving I just remember her name is Dame Dame Aelin or Dame Allen. Yeah. Um yep. The angel lady and then the you know moonrise tower stuff um was pretty cool but beginning of act two was like very frustrating to me with the uh the shadow curse lands the shadow curse lands and then that that one fight in the town at the beginning of act two yep. where they like kidnap the priestess or whatever and you just like auto lose the fight and i'm like that was dumb as hell like yeah we talked about that yeah we did anyway i don't have anything else for for Baldur's gate I guess I, yeah. I like. Oh, and I played co-op. I played co-op with somebody. Co-op is great. Yeah, like, co-op is great. There's some cool. They did some good, good work with that. You can like listen in on conversations, and you can vote. So co-op's been good. I'm playing a bard. Mm -hmm. Bards are fun. Playing a support yep. bard. So, I mean, that's been good. I don't have any other Baldur's Gate comments in other games. Like, like I said, I play a little bit of Fallout. Like, you know, I played Lethal Company. Obviously, like Lethal Company is great um more lego fortnite than playing that like for lego fortnite's kind of relaxing for like an hour or two so but boulders gate was like the big big game for me so anyway i'll turn it over to you my boulders gate act two boss rant is over thank you for stopping by um 
Yeah. I uh, This week, I guess, uh, I've mostly been playing Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix Randomizer again. I've gotten back into that. I, I'm, um, I hope it's going well. I that see I remember the frustration that that could incur. Yeah, no, I've been having fun with it. Um, you're not so far. Oh, you're not speed running it. You're just doing the randomizer. Yeah, just a randomizer. Okay, never mind. Uh, I'm I haven't played any in any like tournaments or anything like that yet. I'm just just randomizer. Got yeah, it. Just randomizer. That's more fun. Um, That's way more like fun and engaging. Um, so yeah, that's been good. They've made a lot of, uh, a lot of updates to the, uh, randomizer since I last played, which was like three years ago. Um, yeah. it's a lot more robust now. Um, oh, I'm sure. A lot of, a lot more options, a lot more stable. Um, you don't have to do it through and it's way easier to, way easier to set up, set up now as well. If you own the, uh, the Epic game store version of, uh, Oh. Of Kingdom Hearts 1.5, 2.5. Then uh, it's very easy to set up. You just download a few tools and click a few buttons. It like extracts the files and then you got to do a few things. But, but yeah. they have a website. They have a website and it's very easy to follow and like very well explained. It's super easy to set up now. Got it. Um, That's good. And they have like an external tool that makes the seeds where it used when I used to do it, it was it was a website oh, that okay. you just had to go to that like made the seeds. Um now they have like a, a, a program, a software yep. that you use. Yeah, um, a little bit like how Pokemon does it. Yep. So yeah, that that's good, you know. It's uh it's cool for anyone who loves Cage Two like me, uh it's a really fun way to keep playing cage too and it's oh definitely very robust there's there's a lot of tournaments there's a new tournament there's two new tournaments mm -hmm. next week nintendo is doing a they call it a blitz tournament it's just like basically over the weekend next week um that was some pretty difficult settings but there's also another tournament starting next week that i think is like a, a kind of a charity charity tournament for i think for ukraine um but um that one they call fresh fresh faces okay. it's a beginner it's a beginner tournament they play on beginner mode e like pretty easy settings um and it's made for basically people who haven't played in a tournament haven't played in a tournament before um so people who are new to randomizer for the most part or got at least it. haven't played in a tournament before got it um so that's pretty cool i think that starts next week okay um so that'll be cool uh other than that i started super mario wonder which i got for christmas and super mario rpg which i've had sitting there for a little bit got it um how much of wonder have you played i beat the first world okay. so maybe an hour or so okay. not much yeah, yeah um okay i I like what they did with wonder i will say that like the wonder flowers and like the uniqueness and the different things that happen in the different levels and stuff like it's very very clever very unique very interesting but there's just something about 2d mario that just doesn't quite do it for me compared to 3d mario i like 3d mario like mm. way way better oh, than okay. 2d mario personally that's just just my opinion the movement just I'm not going to tell you it's janky or it's bad, but it just feels a little... I'm just not used to it. I don't play 2D Mario mm. that often, and it just... I don't know. It just feels... Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know what to say. I just don't, I just don't like it as much. Okay. It, it, it's a cool, it's a cool game. It's a well-made game. I'm sure people who love 2D Mario love Wonder because it's, it's very well-made. It's pretty. The levels are very unique. Um wonder flowers are different and cool but but yeah 2d mario just does not do it for me compared to compared to three compared to 3d mario yeah. okay i mean that's it is what it is. yeah it's just a pro it's just, it's just my personal opinion it's, it's just preference it's just preference yeah like got it i was like i love odyssey i was like completely enamored with with odyssey in that game you know wonder i played an hour i'm like yeah this is fun it's cool but i'm not like totally enamored with it or anything it. like that got it okay. um, and then super mario rpg similar like it's a cool game um 
it's pretty fun to play. I can tell things move very fast in that game. Mm -hmm. um, I can tell it's not going to be very long. Um, but the combat is very simple, but cool. Um, but again, I don't love it. I'm not super like enamored with it, but it's... You can tell it's a, you know, 30-year-old game or 25-year-old game or whatever. Um... Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah, what, I mean, Super Mario RPG was an older game, and yeah, I, I don't know how much they've changed, but that game was really, for me, straightforward when it came out with how you, you it's turn-based. Like, it's, it's it was really simple yeah. to me. So... I'm curious if they added any additional complexity, but yeah, when it when that when that was played by me when I played it and I didn't finish the game, it didn't strike me as anything too complicated. It's just like yeah, like there's some button timings. You have like yeah. you have magic, you have no. attacks. Like it's pretty simple. They, they didn't add complexity. I think if anything, they made the game easier because oh. they added new new mechanics. Like there's this uh, meter that charges up as you do as you do action commands correctly that gives you like a super attack once you once you charge it up which i'm pretty sure that didn't exist in the original so some magic had like you charge there's like a meter you if you have good timing it makes the attack stronger but i don't know about any super attacks i just know like yeah. there was timing and then there was it was all timing everything was timing it's like if you time it yeah, right is... you get you get the most power so that for me that was that was how it was before Okay. Any other any other stuff to to touch on or okay? Nope, that'll that'll do it. All right, then I guess for today we can we can call it a little bit early. We we can uh, see what comes up this coming week for news. Um, I think most things will be active again, at least from the from the company business side. So you'll we'll yeah. get some news. I imagine we'll. We'll see some some potential updates for certain games coming out soon. Um, we'll be back next Saturday the 13th. Um, same time that we've usually been doing, which has been around 10.30 a.m. Pacific time. And uh, yeah, I hope everybody had a, has a great rest of your weekend. Cool. All right. Yep. See you later. Thanks, everybody. Have a good one, everybody.